We're live. We're live. Rubber chicken time. Chicken dinner time. <laughs> How y'all doing? I'm with you today. I figure let's go ahead and do this because, um, you know, maybe some will have a chance to come. And if they don't, you can watch it later, right? Because I know today's a holiday for a lot of people, so a lot of people are probably busy doing stuff with their families and all that, but maybe not everybody, so we decided to go ahead anyhow. Yeah, you know, sometimes people get um, left out at hobby at holidays. They um, maybe they can't go to be with their families and their friends, and so um, you know maybe they need a little company. So I guess I'll be watching her on hobbies because somehow she's not getting it up on my iPad. It's really good for me to have the iPad because I can see who's there and I can talk to you. Let's see, we got 15 people in the room already. Yay. There's Javier up here. There's Deborah. Live Free. Hi. Karen Mansell. Hi. Colleen. Yeah, we like to go ahead and do it anyway because, um, you know, some people are home and lonesome and they just need a project or an idea. And so we're here for that. We love to do that. So anyway, <clears throat> I've got a big da -da 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 announcement for you. The Choxy came in, finally. We're doing temporary finishes, and we're going and we're revisiting different finishes that we used to have that people liked, and for one reason or another we had to discontinue them. And so we're bringing Choxy back on a temporary basis. Now you might say, okay, so what's Choxy? Well, it's what you're looking at. <laughs> but Choxy is actually a dark milk chocolatey look that's placed on the brass. It's an artisan finish. It's custom made for us. Um, it lists a little bit toward uh, the look of vintage, but it's not. It's, it's deeper. Um, there are more highlights for you to raise on this for you to do, it's more interactive. Um, it's just my look, it's my way of doing it. Now, <clears throat> I will tell you, for those who loved it before, it used to be a little bit lighter, but we have been going back and forth. In fact, it was one of the reasons why we had to discontinue it because we just couldn't get consistent batches that like matched every time. And for people who like to do lines that have consistency, it's really important, it's important for me too. So, but I thought I'll bring it back on a temporary basis because it won't matter then. You know, you just have fun with it. And so you can buy as much as you're able to from the different batches as they come in and have fun. And so ours came in Friday morning. And I still have to call um, my friend tomorrow so we can work out a couple of things. But what I have is going to work out just fine. And you guys are going to like it. So right now what we're doing is we're separating all the brass because I'm going to show you something in case you've never seen it. I'm going to go back here and get this brass flat and show you. This is what we have to do. So some of you have seen this before, but for those of you who haven't, you'd probably enjoy it. Do you think I'm going to mess on it? Well, you can't see it. There's a mess all around here. Oh, she's putting my... T Good. Thank you, Javi. Yeah, I I, well, you know what? I need that too because my voice is so hoarse and quiet. Anyway, let me get this all in the frame. Okay, look at this. This is just one of the flats. They've started to separate. That's why these bags are here. It comes in in big, big, huge bags, weighed 10 pounds or whatever, I don't know. And we have to separate it. So that's why the stuff's in these bags. All this stuff has to be separated. I have to quality check it and separate it all out. So this is what it looks like in mass. So you see, it's quite chocolatey. Kind of like um, chocolate frosting. You know, that kind you buy at the, the grocery store to put on a cake and don't make it yourself. You'd use it out of a can. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that color. We got a lot of the most popular styles made. This is only one of the flats. We had four flats full. And here are some of the other styles we got that aren't in this flat, so I'll just show you real quick. Um, I got this one, which is a really cool centerpiece. I'll show you that. Yeah. This will look so great when you raise highlights on it. See, that's what's so great about these kind of satin finished, almost matte colors. Here, I should give you a piece of white <laughs> so you can see. I'll just put on the point. 
Yeah. Because it kind of blends in. Yeah, I'll just lay it here and you guys can keep looking at it. Right down. Okay, there we go. Um, we got this one. I got, I don't know, I think it was like close to 90 styles. So yeah. we're going to start with that and we're going to see how far we can take this out. Now here's another favorite. Now you can see there's a little bit of color difference between these two. You're going to have that with this line. It's going to be in the general area color-wise, but it is not always going to be a perfect match. It'll be in the same color league, but not... It could be a little darker, it could be a little bit lighter. If you like this stuff, and I do, and if you like to distress it and add your own color, change it up, make it your own thing, you'll love this, but you're going to have to deal with that for as long as I have it. If you guys fall in love with this and want it really, really bad, we might consider keeping some styles on a permanent basis, but I am not making any promises there right now because when we brought the aqua copper in on the brass, everybody wanted, everybody was really excited about it. I restocked it twice and then it fell off. And I can't afford to carry finishes that are only going to be popular for a little while. So we'll see what you guys think. You guys will ultimately decide, okay, whether you like this or not. Because um, it is different from what we used to have. I think it's richer, personally. But um, here's these I think are going to be awesome. Let me move this over. These are going to make such cool earrings. They're like the postage stamp form. And you could do your tissue decoupage in there or ceruleum with a few beads or whatever. Distress it a little bit. Hang some other beads and stuff over top of it. I'm, I can't wait to do that one. I'm just, my fingers are itching. I can't wait to do it. <laughs> Let's see who else is here before I keep talking. There's Kelly. I was just talking to her. And Melissa, hey, there's Harpo too. Let's see, Betty Stroman, yay! And Doreen is here. Anne is here. Um, Lori Wooten, hey, alrighty. Well, we're getting a nice crowd. We already got 27 with us. That's cool. This is a blank. Normally, I don't do blanks in uh, a lot of finishes because they don't take too good. They take good in, in brass ox. Silver ox is good, but it's heavy, so they're expensive, so I don't do them so often. Um, Certain things just don't work so good. This stuff, I think, is going to be okay because if it's washed out a little bit, it just looks distressed. So, might make it cooler. I don't know. Hey, like chocolate roses? Chocolate roses on a big decorated cake? Well, doesn't this look like that? Chocolate roses. Oh, it's kind of fading out in there. Let me bring it up. We can see it a little bit better. Because this is really amazing. Let's see if I can bring More it. More details, yeah. Yeah. Can see it's it's really cool. It's beautiful. Yeah, chocolate rose. And then there's this one too. Is that four layers. Of, uh, um, it's yeah, that's, that's four layers. Layer. See, they put those four layers together and then they dap them and then they use a kick press to put a tube rivet in there. So there's a lot of handwork on it. That's one of the reasons they cost a lot, is because there's a lot of handwork in making those. Um, here's another one. It's a littler one. Um. This is one we've carried for like years. It's the one with the little lines on it you guys like. So, yeah, we got that one. You can set a little stone in there. You can wire through it, whatever you want. It's a really versatile piece. And then, let's see, Tiffany Nelson is here. Hi. Will you have jumps to match? You can make the dark copper ones work. Brass ox works real good too, so probably not until we see how this goes. If it goes over good and we decide we're going to keep some of it permanently, then I'll get them. Till then, no. I can't invest in all that stuff right up front because just this much, you guys don't even want to know how much it costs. It's like scary, except I've been doing this so long, I've gotten used to being freaked out <laughs> by big bills. <laughs> anyway, this is one too. Let's see what Deborah says, because I think she's going down my line of thought. Lovely finish. You could always buff back and colorize and do... Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I have in mind for Deborah. We can do mixed metals. He's finished coordinate. Just in tones of toxic. That's entirely right. And you will find that... Um, just to show... Because uh, not to just blow you off, Deborah, about the uh, jumps and stuff, but just to give you a little reassurance that you'll be okay... Rusted iron would look good. Yeah, we have rusted iron. In fact, to just show you, this is rusted iron right here. I don't know if you can see it. That's rusted iron. So you can see how close. If you use rusted iron jumps with it, there'd be literally no 
difference. Except when you look at this and you look at that, you say, well, Brenda, what's the deal? We already got rusted iron. Well, you guys wanted Choxy. We did Choxy. Rusted iron, however, is not as matte, and it's got a lot of highlights already showing us different. It leans more toward black. Black, yeah. Um, but just to show you, this is brass ox. So you can see there's a good bit of difference between Choxy and brass ox. However, a jump or a clasp in brass ox would probably go good with this, just fine, especially if you are distressing the piece. And I'll demonstrate that to you in just a minute. So um, anyway, without further ado, let me show you a little bit more about this line and what I did with it. Okay, so let me put this stuff back in the bag because Shelly will have my head. She worked hard. I can't believe how much of this stuff she got done this morning. These girls have separated so much stuff for so long, they've gotten really fast at it. And especially, too, when you're doing the bigger pieces. The bigger, yeah, we don't need that. Fluffy. Yeah, fluffy. This is so nice just looking at it. You like it, Heavy? Yeah. What would you do with it? Would you distress it? I'd probably distress it a little bit. Uh, this would look so good Maybe if you distress it. Maybe put a little bit of gold highlight. Right. Well, that's exactly what we'll have. you know I'll leave this one out. I've got a good many of them. I'll leave this one out and I'll show you. I don't know. That'd be me. <laughs> Alrighty. And then I'll put my postage stamps back. Gold. Some of these I don't have so many, so I can't play around with them as much. But, um... Because this is just my first load. If it goes over good, I'll buy another load. If it doesn't, we'll have it for a few months. It'll be gone. That's how I'm going to have to do it on these special finishes, guys. Okay, Javi, can you take this from me? Because I this is this one's kind of weak. The box. Yeah, the box. The box has kind of seen better days. We need some more beer flats. <laughs> Does that mean we need to drink more beer? <laughs> no, we just need to go to the grocery store and get more. Um, Anyways, to just show you kind of more about it, here's the big wing, the wing, wing one we like so much. And I have distressed this because this is what it looks like, you know, with no distressing. Isn't that a yummy chocolate? That's like milk dark chocolate, if there is such a thing. It's just so chocolatey. It's crazy. But I use my um, quadruple ot, very fine steel wool on this and raise these highlights real quick and then I don't know if you can tell um, right here but I've been going really light on it with a blue marker in here and turning these blue so I'm, I'm just thinking about it because I don't want to apply color on here too quickly because uh, I want to think about it and make it into something really nice so um, but that got blue on there so far and it is very very pretty so anyway, about this piece, this one. This one is from a tool that they have not been using for many, many years. It, it, the, the die went down, which means that it broke and they had to refurbish the whole thing. But this is a definitely 1930s, maybe late 20s die going way back. And it's, it's very handsome. It's, it's rugged and it's handsome and it's large. And I think it was meant to be a centerpiece for a necklace, which you could do. I would say if you were doing that, you should probably put like, well, I wouldn't use this one, but you should probably put something, you know, substantial up here and connect or something. I don't know. Maybe like, no, nah, not that. But something that, you know, have, it goes up and has two holes here. I don't have anything here to like demonstrate it. I think you know what I mean. But anyway, when I saw this, I didn't think necklace, which normally that's the first thing I do is I think necklace, you know. Um, hey, Maureen, don't worry about being late to the party. You're really not. We were late, too. We just got here. <laughs> Joyce and Patty, Editing Reality, is here. Beautiful pieces, one on right could even be painted with some greens and make like 50s. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Why not? Um, <laughs> so anyway, I've always thought bracelet. Of course, now, to make this a bracelet, we have to bend it, right? And of course, we have ways of doing that. I usually do it with my fingers. You can use um, bell-making pliers, the great big heavy ones, to help you out. Um, you can use the bracelet bending bar, which we're out of right now because they haven't had it for a while. But there's a lot of ways you can do it. I tend to do it with uh, 
I, uh, I just love, I tend to do with my fingers, honestly. I got distracted because I'm reading her comment here. Spray bottle with vinegar and salt. Do it a few days and just have some really organic then seal at least two times a seal. You know what? On some of our pieces, that would work. That would work on the rusted iron. This pit finish is not done with a metallic paint. It's done more with a paint paint, but it's done commercially. And, you know, it's done in a pla plating situation, but it's more of a paint paint. I mean, you could try it. But being honest, I don't think that's going to work. Um, you've got to have metal exposed. So like, say I really just stressed the heck out of this. So you had a lot of the brass underneath exposed. Then that could be interesting if you did that. Because then it would just take where you exposed the background. That could be a really, really cool look. So thanks for bringing it up. But just to do it on this, I have my doubts. If you want to use like the Tiffany green uh, swell again, which is normally where my brain goes, you probably would have to put a little bit of the brass metal coating on it for it to take. But I mean, it's definitely worth experimenting with. And I, I hope to do a lot of experiments with this finish now that we have it back. Uh, my guy really, really went through hoops to get this for us because they changed the chemical composition of everything. All the chemicals that he used to do to use to make this finish have changed. So he had to really pull some rabbits out of his hat. And he did. I think he did a good job. Let's see what she said. Um, I saw some... Huh. I saw something here I wanted to respond. Could, could it be made for bracelet? Absolutely. Um, that's what I did. Right here. No, somebody said, what about a brooch? Um... You can do anything you want with it. If you want it to be a brooch, this would be very 40s style. What I would do is clip the top off and file it and then uh, get a paint marker to, to hide the brass underneath to make it brown again. Because, you know, if you cut something off of this, you've got brass under it. It's going to show. So you'll have to color it, cover it up. And then, yeah, you, it's got plenty of room for pin back on here. Yeah, you could make a really cool um, 30s, 40s style brooch with that. Mm-hmm. But I made a bracelet, and I bent it. I did this with my fingers, and then at the end, this one was kind of stiff. Some of them bend really easily, like those those great big wide brass cuffs that I get. You guys would be surprised how easily those bend. They they go fast. I've got a technique for doing that. It just takes minutes. But this one, uh, I'm kind of weak, and I don't have the strongest hand, so this one took a little doing, but I did get it. And I used bell makers at the end. Um, and just to give you an idea, now these bell makers are really not appropriate. They're they're too little. These are the smallest ones we carry. We carry them, I think, in three sizes. Actually, one even smaller than that. Do we have one smaller than yes, that? Yes, we do. Oh, okay. Well, what you want is the great big one that I have, which, of course, I don't have one up here, so I made this work, and I used this side. The fat, oh, yeah. fatter side. And what I did is because I'm going to distress this already, didn't matter. But if I wasn't going to, I would have needed to tape it or something so it wouldn't mark up the brass. But I got underneath of it and then I just pulled it with my hands. But I mean, it took it took some doing. I first turned it a little bit with my hands and not using this thing. And then um, as I went on to get this back part bent. I did, and basically is what I did. I got on it like this with the fatter part underneath and just pulled on it, and it worked, thankfully. So the only thing about it that I don't like is, and you'll have this sometimes, um, sometimes you get it, it's kind of like, I don't know if you guys can see this, it's kind of like, it's just not as bent as smoothly as I'd like. But really, once you have it on, it doesn't matter. When you're looking at it face on, it doesn't matter either. It's, it's fine. So anyway, what I did, and to tell you how long this is, I've got my ruler right here. Mm, about two and three quarters inches. So anyway, then I bent it. Of course, now it's going to be shorter because you bent it. But I got it to fit the top of my wrist really nicely. You can see. And I could wear it that way if I want, or if I would rather have it hang to the outside, I'd just turn it around because the motif is the same on either side, so it doesn't matter. I kind of like it like this because I put these little baubles on the end. I tend to do that on a style like this. And so I'd rather have them hanging off my wrist 
to the side. So, and then, um, normally I would do a big uh, lobster clasp, but this is my favorite toggle clasp of all time. And they don't make them anymore. Sigh. I've used this thing for like 20 years. They don't make them anymore. I bought all the guy had. And so we have a few on the website yet to share with you if you want interest in them. But I'm going to show you. It's just so much easier than a lobster claw. Now watch it. Bye. It'll be lying. But I get them on easier with that. Now I'll have trouble with it. Let me show you. Yeah, it won't work now, huh? It was so easy. Well, believe me, it is. <laughs> That's kind of hard to believe. You know what? Maybe I'll do it this way just for... Yeah, this is faster doing it this way. But I normally <laughs> put it on the outside. That was like easy as two pie. Two seconds. <laughs> yeah, two seconds. And so then these hang down. And it's a little loose on me, but I don't like these tight. But to tighten it up, all I have to do is just bend this a little bit more. And I use three sections of beading on the back, you can see. And this is just a gypsy beading. Now, you, if you like to bead on string, this would be a good time to do it. I was also thinking that it might be kind of nice if I made it so that the clasp was here and then, let me take this off so you can see better, and then do one row of chain this way and then two, two more right here in these, these holes right here and make it a triple and make it come back around and come into one and then catch it with a big jump ring and then make it so you could hook it. But anyway, this one is distressed. This is Choxy that's been distressed. And then I use my little Impress Art mark marker, which I'm in love with and it's hard to get in the green. And I just kind of dusted it up a little bit with patina. And then when I put these caps on, they were a little bit greener patina than this. Let me show you. Because we carry these at the site. We have a lot of them, too. It's just a little bit greener. So I made it a little bit more tealish hmm. and uh, to match. And there you go. I didn't put any on the class because it'll just get worn off. You know, take it on and off, so I didn't do that. But, you know, you, if you find a way, you can do it. Anyway, that's how I made it, and it took about a half an hour to make this. There was nothing to it. And if I was to sell this, I would probably get... Anywhere from thirty to thirty-five dollars, I think, for it would be reasonable because it's showy. This is a showy piece. No getting around. I mean, it's showy. It's a handsome piece. Let's see if I can get my hand my hand in there. Yeah. Let's see how it looks. It's a handsome piece, and I like the way that it tapers. It's pretty that way. If I turn my hand a little bit, you can see. Yeah, I like the way it tapers. All right. So that's what you do with Choxy. I mean, you can leave it matte and paint it if you want or do nothing to it, however you like. But I just kind of think the stuff was born to be distressed. So to show you how easily it distressed, I've got my little wad of steel wool here. And I took this piece out because Javi said, let's see it distressed. So we're going to do that. So here it is. Let's see if I'm in camera for you. Pretty yeah. good. Okay, let's see. Calla lilies make me think of 30s Hollywood movies. There you go. They do. I love calla lilies too. Wonder if a metal rolling pin would work to curve it. It's not necessary. I mean, if you, if you if that's what you want to do, I mean, they have um, bracelet mandrels and they look like a metal rolling pin. I used to even sell them, but I stopped selling them because they weren't necessary. But if that's what works for you best, then you can do it. But I wouldn't bother with that. You can do it with your hands and and uh, bail makers easily enough. You just have to work it. You'd have to work it anyway. Even if you use that. So let's see, I've got big, big wrists. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of people have big wrists. And this is a good one for that. But anyway, here's it. here it is distressed. You're going to love to see how this comes up so quick. Let's see who else is asking me questions because I don't want to miss anybody. Hello from Ohio. Hi, Brenda from Ohio. This is another Brenda from Ohio. Where you bees in Ohio? I'm over by the PA state line. I'm almost, I'm so close to the PA state line, I'm almost from Pennsylvania. But not quite. A town that nobody knows. East <laughs> Palestine, Ohio. Podunk, USA. They can't even, they'll say, 
East Palestine? <laughs> yeah, people say East Palestine. That's how you know if you live here, because it looks like Palestine, but you say Palestine. Palestine. And how that happened, I don't know. <laughs> Some yay who didn't know the difference. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, probably. I don't know. I'm not probably... <laughs> okay, so you can see it makes a mess. So let me get rid of this. I'll blow it on Heidi. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, the no. Chicken, chicken, chicken didn't like that. Okay, so now you can see this is just distress. I mean, you can distress it way more than that if you want, but it's really rather delightful just to distress it. And again, this is, you can say, well, it looks so much like brass ox. Well, wait a minute. Well, again, let's just look at the difference. It doesn't look like brass ox. Not really. Not really. I mean, it's kind of leaning that way, but the thing with the brass ox is that you have the black highlights with it. Yeah. With this one, you have to raise the highlights yourself and they're gonna be golden. Because what you're doing is you're taking it back to the brass that's underneath it. So, you know, there's quite a difference actually. So, oh, this is a cool piece. I should get this piece for the Troxy too. Anyhow, yeah. Anyway, um, okay, so getting back to this now, you know, you could color, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I don't know how it's gonna look, but we will try it. What the heck? Did it in cold. I can probably <laughs> I can probably distress it off if I don't like it. So. Yeah, that's true. So here I'm gonna put a little bit of this teal, this green patina marker on here, just to get a feel for it. Oh. Okay. So. Looks kind of nice. Yeah. I got a little bit where I don't want it. If you get this one still pretty wet, you can take a, a Q-tip marker and get it off still. So I don't know, what do you think? Hello, I'm, I am new, love learning from you. Well, Tammy, thank you so much. I'm so glad you came. Anybody else new this week? If you're new, say so, because we want to welcome you. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it like this. I might distress a little bit more. Even use maybe put another color with it too. Maybe a little red or yellow maybe. I don't know. I'm here but I need to leave for dinner. Hey, that's fine, Miss Mai. At least you came to say hi, right? So that's that's all cool. Melissa loves that sage marker. She got one. Yeah, I use a lot. Yeah, I do too. I've got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to see if I can get more because this is wonderful. I would really wish that they would just sell this one by itself. I like the other markers in the, in the kit. They're very, very nice. And I use them too, but this one I use a lot. It's really good. Hello from Iowa. Thanks for coming, friends. Barb Owen, first time to see you live. How to get creative.com. What kind of marker is it? It's impress art. Okay, Trudy, Bro Trudy Boatwright. Thanks for coming, Trudy. She's cooking awesome. Mine's in a crock pot. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. So I'll, I'll be I'll be eating. So Brenda does the Prairie Peddler show. Oh, I've wanted to go that for a long time. I just never. You know, I miss doing shows. I used to do so many shows. We were yeah. like we were like on the circuit, but that was like 20, 25 years ago, and I'm an old lady now, so. I prefer to do mine online, but I miss it. I miss it really bad. I love getting there and putting my things out and talking with people in real time. It's really fun. So, anyways. Um, that's what I got to tell you about Chuxy. Now, you might be saying, oh, well, I want to buy it. Well, you can't buy it yet because it's going to take, oh, seven to ten at least before we get this stuff up, it could be closer to two weeks. Because here's what all has to happen. Javi has to do all the promotionals. That means making the banner for the front part of the site, making the pages, the inner pages, and all that stuff, and putting all the guts up for it. And then we have to separate it like I showed you. And then we have to photograph every last piece of it because we have no photographs of this. Even our old Chuxy pictures won't work because they aren't they're quite the same shade. Um, so the, uh, the whole thing, 90 styles, has to be photographed. And you can ask Javi. They're very fussy out there, aren't they, Javi? They'll be up. <laughs> yeah, she, she invented it. And if anybody puts anything on she doesn't like it, she takes it down and puts it up again. Because I know I put some stuff on it. She's like, who did this? <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> who did this? 
Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, it's going to be a while before it goes up. But, 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 here's the dealio. Let me take a sip of my Coke. I'm getting dry. <laughs> yeah, chicken's going to come do chicken dance. All righty. Starting right now, anybody that puts an order in at bsubtiques.com for... How can I do this? For $50 up, I can do it. Um, if you put an order in the website for $50 up, I'm going to send you a little sample packet. Woohoo! How's that? They sent me a few styles that um, they must have made a mistake or something, and, and I didn't order them, but they're really fun. And I decided, well, I'm going to stay with what I know works, so um, I'll give you some of those and maybe a few more out of that flat. Cut with two, three pieces, not a lot. I can't give you a ton, but... If you do a $50 order for me starting now through next week, all next week I'll do it, through next, till, till next Sunday, $50 and up, I'll give you a little package, just a little package, not like off the charts ridiculous like I usually do. <laughs> but the thing is, is today we still have that thing for $75 up where you get like this whole big bag of watch parts and stuff is like a quarter pound almost or something. So you could actually end up getting that and the Choxy and a fat discount and free shipping at 50 bucks. So like, who loves you, baby, right? Who loves you, baby, right? Hey, Lynn Reeve. She's all the way from Australia. It's my time different. It's my first time here and I'm late. Forgot about time differences. Thank you. For, oh, I'm love. I'm glad you're here, Persis. Where are you from? I can't quite tough in the picture. Oh, well, I'm li just really glad you came. Very glad you came. Darn, I placed my order last night. Well, Jan, uh, you know, since you are one of our development people and you work like your butt off for me for nothing, uh, send Jordy an email, and he'll help you out. Now, cause you guys, Jan and Marsha are both with us today. And I don't know if you guys know them. Maybe a lot of you do. Jan and Marsha are my development team. And they are the ones that develop all the challenges that we do at BC Boutique's creative group at Facebook. And they do them all on color palettes. They work really hard to get them. And they're the cheerleaders for it. They do all the graphics for it. I mean, they do everything for it. Sometimes... I really can't even participate. They just take it and run with it. I don't need to do anything with it. They do it. They just try to get me to get the stuff in on time. And they tell me ahead of time. And we tended to do the Choxy on this one. And then we got held up because we had problems with it. But it's all worked out now. And it's coming in. And maybe we'll have it just for the tail end of the challenge. But anyway, yeah, Jan, I'll take care of it. Cause Jan, she has the Sunday earrings challenge too. They're both admins for the site. So... And their case, I'll do it because they, I should be paying them. I'll just put it to you that way for what they do for us. Persis is from near Chicago. Awesome. Man, the traffic in Chicago is wild, isn't it? We went to Galena, Illinois a couple of years ago because it's a great place. Artisan community, lots of shops and stuff. And we had to go through Chicago and we went on the freeway, on the freeway, the highway, and all of a sudden there was like this huge bridge right in front of us, real high, steep incline. And I'm looking at that, and I said, John, do you have to go over that? And he says, heck yeah. And I'm like, oh. I just closed my eyes and was praying the whole time till we got over it. It was so scary. You guys that live there probably know which one I'm talking about and say, oh, she's crazy. Oh, that bridge? It's, it's, that, it's that bridge in Chicago that goes way up high. Do you, yeah, you were just over there. Yeah. When it you went to get your. High. I think one in Jacksonville kind of scares me all the time. Oh, really? Well, yeah, there's that. one over by Tampa, too. Yeah. Uh, that was not too scary. Well, I thought it was scary. <laughs> Please don't apologize for unavoidable delays unless you give, give us a heads up. Well, I wasn't going to show you guys any of this until it came out because um, 
you know, if people feel bad, it's not up yet, and stuff can happen, you know, so, but I think it's going to be, the first you'll see any of this might be the end of next weekend, and we won't have a whole line up for at least a couple of weeks, and then I have another load coming in after this, so, you know, eh, you get a little bit, and then you get some more later, and you start playing with it, but anyway, if you do an order for 50 up, starting right now through next Sunday, I will give you a little sample of it to play with, just, just a little bit just to play with and see what you think, okay? And then you'll be ready for it when it comes in. So it'll be great. Persa says no joke. <laughs> so she thinks it's high. <laughs> anyway, Skyway, Karen says, I hate high bridges too. Oh, it's, it's just the kind of thing that, uh, uh, did it look new if so it's in my backyard? Well, you know, I wouldn't know because my eyes were closed the whole time. I went over. I'm like, oh, get me off this thing. I did not like that. Ooh, I didn't like that. I remember the first time I went over George Washington Bridge, going out of New York into Connecticut. We were going to Providence for one of the jewelry conventions. So Shelley and I, there was a big, big bridge. George Washington's big bridge, too. I don't like bridges. Oh, well, enough <laughs> of that. Now, i got some more stuff to tell you that's kind of important about changes that are happening at BeastBoutiques.com. Anyways, you guys know, if you're on the creative group, and if you're not, I wish you, if you like to do Facebook, I know some people can't stand it, and that's fine. But if you can stand it, you can hold your nose and do it or whatever. If you can come, we have a group on Facebook. There are over 5,500 people there. A lot of you are from there. Um, but we see new ones, too. Come and join us. It's a great, great group. These girls will tell you. I mean, we're like family over there. We learn a lot of new things. So they already know about this. And also, if you take my newsletter, you know about this. But the gingerbread line at the website for BC 1928 is going away. And the reason it has to go away is kind of like one of the reasons why we had a hard time getting Choxy. The chemicals that my guy uses to make this finish, which is it's exact mimic of the old French brass. If you hold a piece up to this of the old French, you're going to say, oh my goodness, it's the same thing. Um, it isn't working out over pewter. So we've gone back to the drawing board, and back to the drawing board, back to the drawing board, and it's just finally we both decided, you know what, we can't do this anymore. So as a result, the gingerbread line, BC 1928, is on sale for 30% off if you use code GINGERBREAD, all caps. Now you want to put it on there, show, um, Javi, you want to put yep. GINGERBREAD in all caps on there? She'll show you if you look at the feed. It's all caps. You only have to have $25 of this product, and you can get the 25% I'll just put it in the coupon box okay and we're gonna do that I said I was gonna quit doing it today but I looked at my stock and I, I had so much of this stuff we were really yes, we really did. deep on it even though it's been it's been getting hit pretty hard and a lot of people are really sucking up because they know I'm not gonna have it again um, I'm gonna extend it at least till tomorrow which is the 22nd so if you didn't get it yet and you're busy today you want to get some you know, you come tomorrow. Some of the styles have sold out already, but there's still a whole lot of stuff over there. Whole, whole lot of stuff. So you can get it. Now, what am I going to do with the stuff that, this, you know, when I take the sale off? What we're going to do is we're going to start slowly pulling it and getting it ready to go back over to the plater. And he is going to do aqua copper patina over it which is like what we have, the ACP that's on the website, the silver brass. He's going to do that on the leftover pieces of gingerbread because he can. We've tried it already, and it looks really good. So we'll be able to keep some, and we'll keep doing ACP on gingerbread for as long as you guys are interested in it. So the start of that new line will be whatever's left over after sale. And as long as there's any gingerbread on the site, you guys can buy it. You know, but the sale of 30% is, is done as of tomorrow night. So we're going to have ACP in this instead. The ACP brass that's on there, there's not a whole lot left, is going away. Uh, probably by the time we start loading Choxy, that's going to come down and bye-bye. And the rest of it, what am I going to do with it? I don't know. I might put a little bit of it at Etsy, in our Etsy store. Or I may just put it away and save it for next year when we bring it back. So 
We'll see. Um, some of the gingerbread might end up on Etsy too. There's some there now. So, but for the most part, it's going back to the plater and it's going to, we're going to do the finish over because it's really all it is. ACP starts out with a gingerbread finish and that's applied over top of it. So we're just going to have it put over top of it and it'll be fine because it's a distress finish. There's highs and lows in it. It won't matter. But for this stuff, it matters. So if we can't get consistent finish on, on pure, then we're not doing it. However, here's another however. A new line, another new line will be born. We are going to do gingerbread brass. Because brass is a different animal, we can do this plating over brass and it'll take just fine. The problem is over pewter, which is a porous metal. So we're going to do it over the brass and we'll have gingerbread brass. And if it takes off, probably what we'll do is we'll take the old rose ox away because as beautiful as it is, it doesn't sell that well. I think probably you guys would like gingerbread better. So we're going to try it, see what happens. So there's a lot changing over there. There's going to be a lot of new lines to look at. Um, another thing I have coming in very, very soon I'm really excited about is I found a nice family in India that have a cottage business <clears throat> and they do fiber. And they had some beautiful sari ribbon. And so they made me a nice deal. And so I'll be able to make you guys a nice deal, better than ever before. And it's on its way as of tomorrow. It's going to take about, she said, I think, 7 to 10 to get here. So I'm excited when it comes to see what it is. And then she sent me a lot of samples of other things they have. So we may uh, do a lot of really cool um, organic look fiber soon because it looks really good with some of this brass stuff, you know. But as for the rest of the beast of 1928, don't be worried. It's not going away. I think maybe Mr. Bernie was a little worried about that. I don't know. It's not going away at all. If anything, in time, it'll grow again. I just have to work. Yeah, there's another thing in it. Um, if anything, the lines will grow because it, we do need to get some new things. And I will be going over there again at the end of the summer. So I'll probably get some then, kind of jumpstart it after we get through all this. But um, no, Beats of 20 is not going away. That That's, it's really, I've given it a lot of attention because it deserved it. And it was my own proprietary line. Now, if even if somebody else would go over there and choose pieces that he has as castings, it's still mine because of what he does to them for me and also because of the plating finish. So, and I, I don't think people are going to go over there and sit for days and look through those castings. The way I did. And some of you guys have been with me when I did videos, when I was going through those castings. Have any of you been to those? Have you ever been when, when I was at at uh, 1928 and doing the live videos on Facebook and showing you guys the casting archives and we were choosing pieces together. Yeah, well, it's 35,000 of them. That's a lot. So I've gone to and fro on those, choosing these, and it's my baby and no, it's not going away. And I'm so proud of the 1928 name. It means the world to me. And the fact that I get to carry it means the world to me. So. No, it's not going away. So don't worry about that. Just the gingerbread finish. That's all. So let's see. What is everybody saying? They have one in San Pedro. That's yeah, big bridge. bridge. Yeah. Let's see. Gingerbread finish is gorgeous. I think so too. I love it. But we're going to at least do it on brass. So you'll be able to get it. In fact, there might be a little bit more selection in, in the brass because I know it works you know, what can be done with that. I've been doing brass now for over 25 years, so I kind of know that one. It goes with so many colors. It really does. How is the piece upper left side used? The spinny thing. Is this the spinner? Oh, this one. Oh, the yeah. spinner? Well, you can see example of it when it's made up. You insert cabochons into it. And it's a very tactile piece. It goes on a, it's a nice pendant. It's yeah, it's the my favorite piece that 1928 jewelry does with this piece. Because for those of you who don't know it, these are the very pieces that 1928 jewelry company used over the years to make their own jewelry, and they let me make them into components that you guys can use. And Mr. Bernie, who owns the company, is very very tickled to see what you guys do with them. He does look a lot. He looks a lot. 
So that's what that is. It's for a necklace. My favorite piece that they make is in what they call Antiquities Couture line. And it's this assembly right here of beads. And that piece is 125 bucks. But you can get this for, I think, 14? yeah, $14, I think, maybe. for this. Nice. And then this is like $6. So it's not dirt cheap, but on the same hand, you know, go to the Hobby Lobby and see what their pewter stuff is. It's not even pewter. I don't know what mystery metal that is. but. That's Thank you. Yeah, look and see what theirs is. It's it's totally comparison price. There's a lot more work to this stuff. And it's These, not as pretty as the ones. Over no, there. they're they're, they're garbage. They have really <laughs> garbagey finishes, and that's my one thing. That's another reason we decided to take this finish away is because we couldn't be consistent. And I don't want people saying, "Oh, B. Sue's letting you know she's really relaxing over there. You know she's not doing a good job. She used to." Uh. Uh. If I don't want it. I'm not going to give it to you, period. And it's not that I don't want this. I do want this, but I want a consistent finish. And if I can't get it, then it goes away. That's how it is. Let's see. Soleil says, I need metal stamps which look like old treasure chests from three-quarter one from I can't buy any way. I don't care what metal fish. I simply want those, not even cheapos from China. Metal stamps. Oh, she means stamping. Okay. Look like treasure chests. Huh. Like you know, normally if you tell me something, I need something like this or that, I know what it is because I've dealt with them for so long and know what they have. I don't think I've ever found one like that. I don't think I've ever found one like Gold that. Gold treasure chest was his own. Um, that locket thingy. Well, the locket, but she's not talking about that. She just wants a flat stamping machine. She's oh. going to put on something. We have lockets that are like that, but they're 3D, and I don't think that's what you want. So, anyway... Um, also, another thing we're going to have before too long, and I'm doing some negotiations on, is uh, wedding cake beads from India. And I don't even have any here to show you anymore because they just haven't been popular for a long, long time. And I'm going to bring them back, dang it, because I love them. And you guys are going to love them too. If you uh, watched me a few weeks ago doing the check stuff, the check look stuff, it is so perfect for that. It's crazy. It's just so perfect for that. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring in a good bit of it, and we're going to see how it goes. So that's going to be exciting. We're going to have a lot of new exciting things coming into BC Boutiques. We're going to change it up. I'm going to rock your world a little bit. Rock your world. Yeah. Okay, that was kind of dumb, right? Anyway, I want to talk to you about something else. First of all, um, you know, we're having our, our workshop in um, oh, let me May. See. Karen, if she's here, she probably isn't. She's probably busy today. Thanks. These are Karen's kind of thing. Um, we're going to have a workshop in May at uh, in Columbia, Ohio, the Dutch House. We have it every May. It's the same week. It's the week after Mom's Day and the week before Memorial Day. Uh, so it's the dates are 17 and 19, I think. 17, 18, and 19. Yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're doing it. Um, it's held at the inn. Um, you can... Stay there. We encourage you to stay there. They give a discount for the rooms. You can get a roomie. Um, the rooms are excellent. They feed you breakfast. And it's a hot breakfast, too. It's not just bagels and hard boiled eggs. Um, and we leave the studio open, the workshop part open, till 9.30. So you can come back and have open studio at night. We're doing tissue decoupage, wonky wire wrap, and kitchen sink jewelry. So there's going to be a lot of stuff to learn. And the reason I printed pit, uh, Karen's picture out here to show you is I've showed you a few other weeks about tissue decoupage. A lot of you are trying it. Well, in fact, we did tissue decoupage on these, uh, these beads we did, on the pearls that we covered the other week. There's tissue on here. I heard here. Anyway, Karen um, did such a beautiful job on her. She did shabby white. I would imagine a spray paint, but maybe not. Um, that's how I do it, but you don't have to. Um, she did the shabby white, and then she let it cure. And then she distressed a little bit, it looks like, maybe. Not a lot. And then she found some really pretty tissue paper. No, I don't carry this. Um, she found some, and then she tore it in little pieces. 
and she found the rose motif and she applied it here, here, and here, here. So that gave her the theme for a line. She's got a line here, okay? Um, and then she took other little pieces of papers. There's one the little music notes and things and leaves and stuff. And she just put little, little bits. To start having it like just emerge from places. And then she put them down with Mod Podge, covered them with Mod Podge. I don't know if she did a resin top or whatever, but um, the effect is gorgeous. And this is the kind of thing we're going to be doing in class. But you can, you can do whatever you want. You can make it look real earthy, or you can do this. So, or, you know, you can do the beads or whatever, but this is just one thought. And then we had uh, in the group today, another reason why you want to join the creative group at Facebook. Karen shows us this. This is from artist Debbie Hembry. And she did the tissue decoupage over the bead. Where did I put my, put my bead at? Where's that crazy bead? Right here. Okay, so she took a bead like this. And mine looks really different from hers, but she's got it all soft and pretty. And she took, it looks like it might have been a napkin. I'm not sure. We'll have to ask her. Um, you can do this with napkins, too. I don't know if you knew that. You can do it with napkins and also tissue paper. Um, she took and she got a floral print and she completely covered it with the, the paper. So that's a beautiful look, too. Shiny and pretty. It's just really pretty. So many ways you can go. Now, it's kind of hard to get the right tissue paper that you really like. And there's some guys on Etsy that sell, but they sell it by the sheet. It's just one little sheet like this big. And they want like $4 for it. And I'm like, no, I don't think so. So I got out there and I'm looking, but you know what? To find the kind, and you know, we have to have the right size of graphic on it because if it's too big, it doesn't work. So I'm looking, I'm looking. I found a few things I like, and I'm going to bring some to the workshop with me for the people that don't have it. But what's really cool is Sunny Pocket knows how to print on tissue paper really good. So you can actually download free graphics on the Internet. There's a lot of places that give you free graphics. You can download them, and then you can print them on tissue paper. And we're going to have Sunny's um, tutorial up. Uh, sometime this week, hubby, you mm -hmm. need to, you need to do that probably yeah. first thing. Get Sunny's tutorial up, and I will let you know at the group when it's there, and also in the newsletter. And if you don't belong to our newsletter, go to the front page of my website. You'll see the little box. Uh, click it and subscribe, please. You will enjoy it. So I mean, also, you'll never know, have to worry about what the discount codes are because they're they're in there all the time. We always have a nice discount going on. So anyway, um, so we're gonna have uh, Sunny's tutorial there presents if you want to make your own tissue paper graphics you're going to be able to just have the world at your fingertips no more four dollars a sheet stuff that's for sure you just need to get some tissue paper from the dollar store and print away it's a little bit of work but it might be worth it because you know what a piece even this big goes a long way especially if you do it the way i do it with just little pieces the way karen did it at a time it goes a long way so anyhow so I wanted to share that with you, too, about the tissue decoupage. And, yeah, we'll be doing that at the workshop. And we do still have spots. So if you think you'd like to come, get in touch with me. The class fee is $285. You get me in person for three days all day long till you're sick of me. <laughs> and we're going to learn together. Um, it's a very, very nice facility. When I do this event, I try to do it as first class as I can. And uh, you're going to enjoy it. It's just like a family reunion. It's a wonderful time. So if you're able to come, and I know it's it's not inexpensive to do, you know, till you travel there, or you get a room, and I understand. So when those ones who are able to do it come, I am so honored. So, so entirely honored. And we have some great people coming this year. I'm, I couldn't be more thrilled. And then next year, Christy Friesen will be back, and she and I are going to teach in tandem, so that'll be interesting. She's got a big plan, so make one from an old monop Monopoly set. Why not? Why not? What's the holder component surrounding the spinner? It's part of it. It's part of the assembly. You buy it together. It's just something they made to put together. So let's see who else. Oh, do you have the same cabs on your side that fit in that piece? I think we do. Yeah. 
Um, we, I'll tell you what, when we got the cat's eye stuff, it blew out of here so fast, but I have a reorder in, so we'll have that real soon. The Millie Fiori calves blew out of here. I think we got a couple left, maybe. The faceted cat's eye, which is, I don't buy just the plain round. I only get the faceted because it's the best. It's, it's coming back in soon, too, so. We have some Belinda Shorts here. Hey, that's great. Let's see, who did I miss while I was yakking away? I think I got most everybody. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, we have to talk about, yeah, somebody's going to get a nice uh, little sampler of things. I think whoever wins today, I'll give them a little Choxy sampler along with some other goodies here. Um, I'm not going to give them my bracelet today. I want to keep that for this. But, so maybe, maybe you'll win it another day or maybe you have the chance to buy it. I don't know. I'm going to open a, uh, an Etsy store. An Etsy, I have an Etsy supply store, one for my jewelry, probably beginning of summer. So when I get this book, this book, the first draft of the book is done. We're now taking it all apart and rewriting it. And we're just building more and more momentum. And it looks like it's good for a late October release date. So um, I think it's going to be a really good book. And I hope you are going to enjoy it because it was so long. So far, it's two years now. <laughs> in the doing and you know a lot of people who write books about collectible jewelry and stuff they take that long some of them i know one lady took 13 years but she's got a fantastic book i can't i don't have that much time mel says you better get done i will live forever <laughs> <laughs> so anyway so here's the choxy again to give you a look at that and i, I will let you all know when we have it available for purchase because i know you're going to want to come and get it and so I don't know what else I can tell you this week. Is there anything you're thinking of? Anybody want to ask anything? Any questions? I'm waiting for the old silver 25 by 18 without the holder to come back and stock all my calves ready for it. I don't remember if I ordered it, Colleen. It's a big piece, and um, I have to buy so many of them to have it made. So I'll see if I can get because you're not the only one who's been asked. It. One thing for sure, it won't be in gingerbread. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try and get some, though. The people ask for things. I like to try and get it. Thank you, Brenda, for what you do to your customers. Oh, that's so nice. Betty, you're just a super nice lady. That's all you are. I like to see what you make. I bet you're extremely talented. Love it when you say, dang it. <laughs> well, it's better than what I could say. <laughs> Which I'm trying to quit that. Anyway, anybody else have anything they want to say today? Deborah says she wants a big spinner too. Well, then I guess we'll get it. <laughs> okay. They well, want their spinners. Yeah, right well, now. we didn't have as many this week, um, but we had a lively group, and I, we got way more than I thought we would. And I'm so thankful to you. So if you have been lurking and haven't said anything yet, you better say something quick because you know how this works. If you come to the live session and you comment, just even if you only say hi, you're, con you're, you're counted in the drawing. We count you for the drawing. Everybody gets one spot in the drawing. So we go through. So it doesn't, you know, if you count 20 times, it doesn't mean you have a better chance of winning. Just one time. And then we go through them and we look for everybody, count how many, and we do the random thing online and whoever wins wins and they get a whole big fun thing of goodies that uh, they're going to enjoy sometimes i give away the very piece i'm working on too um, but this time i got to keep my bracelet for a little bit and I'll, I'll i'll be sending you something you'll like that's for sure and a little bit of toxy too okay so what we're going to do is the discounts for this week are still good. Um, we have them pinned to the top of the creative group board. Here she comes with the chicken. But your deal today is if you give me a $50 up order, I'm going to give you a nice piece of Choxy. I'm going to give you a big piece. And then maybe a couple little ones. We'll see what I can afford to give you because I didn't order this stuff deep. But I'm going to give it to you for free. And, you know, of course, at $50 after coupon use, you also get free U.S. shipping, so that's nothing to sniff at. Um, also, if you have $25, you get 5% off if you if you put in code 5. I'm going to write that in, Javi, all caps, 5. 
Five? Yeah, five percent off. And then uh, at fifty, you get ten percent off if you write in ten. At a hundred dollars, you get fifteen percent off if you write in hundred discount. Like it's all one word, no spaces, all caps in the letters. Maybe have you write those all in for you guys. So that's what the codes are this week. Plus the gingerbread code. If you want to hop on and load up on the gingerbread, we've had some people make some serious orders for that gingerbread. There's still plenty there. So we have it today and tomorrow yet. You have to put in codes, code gingerbread. And you have to have $25 of that product or up. And no, you can't stack the codes like the grocery store. I wish I could afford to do that for you. I'd love to. But unfortunately, I have to pay for this stuff. <laughs> So anyway, thank you too, Deborah, for coming. We're so glad you came. Lori says she wants the book. Yeah, I want it to be done. I'm telling you what, I want it to be done. I want it to be done. I want to be holding it in my hot little hands and say, look what happened here. And I hope you guys will like it too. So I appreciate all of you guys making the effort to come. Uh, those of you who are coming to the workshop, I see some here who are. I will be so happy to meet you there. And anybody else who wants to come, just get hold of me, okay? You can get me at, uh, you can let Jordan know, jordan at bsubatiques.com, or you can call here, 1-800-868-4393. Pretty sure that's it. One, you can look, yeah, 1-800-868-4393. You can go to the website and on the front page, scroll all the way down the bottom to the black at the bottom, and our phone number is there too. So that's www.bisaboutiques.com. This is it's a lowercase Jordan. Oh, rats. Sorry. Jordan's lowercase. Jordan, all of your problems that you ever, ever have. Like not having. Something. Like anything. Any problem you have. Contact Jordan at bisaboutiques.com because he's Mr. Fixer here. And he's good at it. So anyway. So, I think we're, there you go, she fixed it. So, I think Yay. we're going to take off. So, uh, we'll do a, I'm going to go eat dinner. And then when I come back, I'm going to count yins up. And I will post here who won and also in the Crave group and also in the newsletter, which will probably come out Tuesday morning. So, you got today and tomorrow to buy the gingerbread at 30% off. And uh, $50 up is going to get you some Troxy. And that starts now. And you know what? You don't need a code. When I see you got $50 in a card after coupon use, I'm going to be telling Javi, Jordan, and, and Diane, and Shelly. Marking on their thing, they're getting free Choxy. So you don't even need a code for that. Just hit the numbers and you got it, baby. Okay. Hi, Annie. Thank you for watching. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Yay! Yay! We did it. Remember to click the thumbs up. Yeah, click the thumbs up and comment. And on, on, the, on the video itself and then subscribe please to my channel we have been going up and number pretty soon we're gonna, pretty soon we're going to have 33,000 subscribe to be super Tate's channel that's pretty <laughs> awesome so we love having you all so okay I'm going to take off now and go eat my dinner so happy Sunday to y'all and uh, don't eat too much ham <laughs> 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 or, ch or chocolate eggs or whatever you eat it's okay <laughs>